Oops. Wrong camera. <laughs> <laughs> happens to the best of us. Hey! How's it going? Welcome to DTLT Today. It wouldn't be today. an appropriate episode if there wasn't a little bit of yeah. futzing. Yeah, we, we want to just make sure that people understand that uh, we are true professionals, but we want to make it look amateurish. Right. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I did that on purpose. Thanks. <laughs> exactly. Appreciate that. So, uh -huh. um... I'm getting some serious rush awe love today. You are. I got in that chat today with the, with uh, George Siemens and Stephen yeah. Downs and Mike Cormier. I just all I had to do was enter the the chat. It's like it's like WWF where it's like, do you feel the rush? Well, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> well, it was like she said, uh, Julia Forsythe said it was like it was like you know Norm walking into the bar at Cheers. Mm -hmm. So I felt I'm feeling kind of I'm feeling the love today. Now, um, I'm sporting the iPad. But I do have a a laptop thanks yeah. to well Tim Tim's been using it but he let me borrow it and I'm booting off of an external drive so yeah. I've got the Mac I'm sporting the Mac today mm -hmm. I feel a little bit more productive um, I'm I'm doing the iPad of course on on the show because this this is all my notes but hey didn't IT give you something new to use I I heard that they delivered something just I, today I I wanted to wait until the DTLT today episode to give it to you Andy okay. they, they told me it's not brand new it's something they had to repurpose they found it in a closet yep. but um, this I think is a, you're, a complete uh, secret to me so this know, is the first time I know anything about this I think you're gonna like it it's an Apple product which I know you love yeah well, so it's, it's got to be good Andy, this is the Apple Newton Message Pad 120. Comes with a stylus, two megabytes of RAM. Okay. It's got handwriting recognition, so similar to that Siri stuff that you've been seeing on TV. Okay. So you can totally. It, the nice thing about this is that it doesn't have any proprietary stuff on there. That's four AA batteries that run this thing, which is just awesome, right? Right. Yeah. All right. So you double. I think you double tap. I have no idea. On the home button, but it's yeah. not really moving. No, it's um, got a slider on the side to turn it on. Siri, is this my real computer, <laughs> or is Tim just messing with just me? Just keep talking to it. Well, we the, need Gladys to come up and say. Well, and here's the problem. <laughs> if you want a network connection, you're going to need this, too, because this is the fax modem that it comes with. Sure, it plugs into Ethernet, right? Uh, telephone. T oh, telephone. Yeah, it, everybody's got those ports, though. How right? quaint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got some awesome new tools here from uh, awesome faculty member George Meadows over in education and he's had a little museum of his own. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> nice. So, old school, I love it. Yeah. And but, then people should recognize this little beastie. Um, this is the first, and I think Martha Burtis um, also had like one of these as the first digital camera. Mm -hmm. This is the Mavica. And for you, for you kids out there, um, this actually has has the giant SD cards, um, known known as a floppy disk. <laughs> um, so you could sport 1.4 right? megs of, of photos, yeah. 1.2 megapixel photos. But make sure to camera. swap them out regularly because these things die. Exactly, and this does do video. Yeah. But you you don't get any audio. No audio with the video. With your video, and you can only have one movie on your disk mm. uh, per per shot I guess yeah. or per whatever per unit well that that's when you utilize your children to be holding like the audio cassette recorder <laughs> while you're recording we'll on your fix Mavica. it in post exactly <laughs> <laughs> but edited in something <laughs> not sure what so we need to do we have a ceremony to to like put these onto our shelf I don't have any music okay. but uh, if you want to put them on the shelf I can do my best Olympic all right let's uh, Let's let's see what you got. Da 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 da
I look, look, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, just, we're good. All right, we'll, so. We'll make it look pretty later. Here is our big reveal. You ready for this? Da, 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 da. Wah. All right. That's awesome. That's good stuff. That's really good. <laughs> Could this get any? All right. <laughs> let's, turn um, the, let's turn the flashing back off. We're, we're not really stalling for any particular reason, or it's not like we don't have things to talk about. And I was actually pretty excited. Um, the last couple of days, we've been, or actually yesterday, I guess it was just that. It's, it seemed like a couple of days, but um, yesterday we were, we were in meetings about our new, what used to be called the Convergence Center, mm -hmm. um, and now, and it's, now the it's the Academic, Academic Commons. Commons. Right building. Um, it's a new it's building that we're going to get to move into, right? Yep. It's going to be the help desk, instructional technology or DTLT, um, the network people, uh, the technology training center, right. and the writing center, and the speaking center. Mm -hmm. So all those divisions are going to be housed in this building, and there's going to be several kind of um, different classrooms, uh, an incubator classroom to kind of try some different things. There'll be a uh, kind of a theater uh, room that's kind of a two-floor deal and right. different arrangements for seating. Um, and then, in general, just some kind of collaborative workspaces that are going to be scattered throughout the building. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll have a couple of spaces for, for doing multimedia work and, and editing and that sort of thing. But and we'll I, also have a, yeah, well, a studio have, that we'll talk about. I have a drawing up here of it. I'll pull <clears> that one up. And that's what the Convergence Center is going to look like. Now, of course... <laughs> Take just about any academic building yeah. on campus, yeah, throw some be, columns in there, give yeah. it a different wide angle view, and you've got, you know, your classic university building. So it doesn't tell a whole lot about it. But um, it's exciting nonetheless. It's funded. So mm -hmm. we, the money's there. It's yep. getting built. It's going to happen. Yep. And, and what will be cool is I think they're going to break ground sometime after the New Year starts. Uh, okay. that's, that's my, that's the latest that I've heard. Mm -hmm. What'll be cool is I can I can look right out the window right now, and as it gets as it's being built, we'll be able to see it, mm -hmm. um, kind of you know do its thing. So so um, somewhere around 2014, maybe moving in. I, I think that's probably like that. yeah probably the way things go, maybe mid year 2014. But that's that's if everything goes just smoothly, and we know some things yeah. don't necessarily Which always never do happens that. on a capital project. Exactly. So but we, uh, well, we sat in in all these meetings, and it was primarily boring stuff like about the furniture that yeah, we, yes, you were going to use. Yesterday was furniture day right. for, the, for the Academic Commons Center. But, you know, some of the spaces you mentioned, a multimedia studio and stuff, even just in terms of furniture, you want you have very particular ideas on things that, that you want, that we want for our office and stuff. One thing that I really liked that the uh, interior designers when we were talking about our office and some of the ideas that we had okay move these tables around do this we'd like this to be an open space and the the girl uh, not the project manager but one of the interior designers I believe uh, actually said you know we recently designed one of Google's offices and I'm getting the feeling that you all are very much like that and she we said us. yeah and we said we are absolutely like Google okay. we're kind of a big deal on the internet <laughs> So uh, they're gonna they're gonna get in touch with us and show us some renderings of some of the things that they did in Google's office, and we're gonna do some stuff like that maybe. Yeah, but so. we'll have. I mean, um, we've get, if anyone's ever seen our office, it's just kind of a, a nondescript square, a rectangular office. We did install a, a dividing wall, yeah. um, but which we, we never. Yeah, we actually I mean, put up. Uh, usually, we we do have it. Uh, just kind of in place, but uh, there's occasionally where they have meetings uh, that we that we use that. But right. um, you know, we're sitting in our studio, um, which really is just the end of the of which the room, sad. with the yeah. door to the hallway, kind of you know off to our left. Um, and so we're really looking to get something that will do a little bit more than than what we've got here. And possibly, maybe, definitely retire the cuddle couch at that time. Well, we did we did mention the cuddle couch, and I think they all looked at looked at us with that, you know, <laughs> that confused puppy dog get look. Um, and we'll probably have some, we'll probably need to get some other kind of cuddle couch or furniture that, that will replace this thing. But uh, yeah. again, maybe they'll, they'll build us another museum where we can, we can put this in it, or maybe the Smithsonian will call. Maybe. <laughs> sometime in the future. Well, in particular, <clears throat> we spent quite a bit of time, not in the first meeting, but in the second meeting where we were talking about the multimedia room and the studio in particular. Right. We're going to have this recording studio, 
And there's a lot of technology that's really fairly new to me, and I think it was to you as well in terms mm -hmm. of how you actually build a proper green screen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, if I, actually, I can switch back. Let me grab this camera here, and I can switch back. So this is our green screen here, which looks like a curtain, but in fact, if I switch to the camera view, there's the green screen there. And, you know, it's just, it's basically a sheet on poles. Yep, right. And, you know, while it works okay for, in this context, there's a lot of, you know, wrinkles in it. Right. Um, it doesn't really work for wide angle shots and things like that. So. Yeah, luck, luckily the Wirecast software is really, um, you know, kind of forgiving mm -hmm. when it comes to the green screen that you use. And it, and it yeah. doesn't pick up the wrinkles too badly. We, we do have the advantage of, of having like a wrinkled blue curtain right. as, the, as the graphic that we put, you yeah. know, a key onto the green screen. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, to take it to the next level, um, I started looking up the idea of, of this thing called a cyclorama, mm -hmm. um, which basically is, um, instead of, you know, you paint the walls, but instead of having the seams where the corners are, you want to have something that's, that's absolutely smooth, and so they all have to be kind of rounded, and then you can light them evenly. And so you there's get, no shadow there. Exactly, so there's right. no shadow in those We've seams, picture and, and what you get is up. something that looks kind of like this. Um, we'll, we'll do it on a slightly smaller scale, because I mm. think this is about a 40-foot wide right. um, room. I think we have about 21 feet something like um, that, yeah. of, of width to go with. Mm -hmm. um, but then the, the idea also is that you have this kind of, uh, you've, got, you've got the green cyclorama, but you've also got a white version to do kind of the individual stand-up shots of, um, of just kind of a, a person uh, standing in front of, of a white background. And then that is easily kind of translated to a, to a web page and that sort of thing. You can, you can embed that into a web page mm -hmm. and kind of be a seamless kind of, here's a guy standing in the middle of your web page. Like the video we saw yesterday, for example. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, I think he actually, it was a, more of a brick wall type, uh, type thing, gotcha. but uh, you probably could uh, texture it somehow with, mm. with uh, a computer overlay or something like that. So uh, lots of possibilities. And it, 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 at one point we did kind of get grilled about about, well, what furniture do you want in this room? And I, I kind of offhandedly just said, well, you don't need any. It's all going to be virtual. It's all virtual. <laughs> and, and Martha objected and said, well, what am I going to sit on? Am I just going to kneel down and, and you're going to pretend that I'm sitting in a chair? And, right. Um, so it, it, it all just we, went down. We draw all the furniture in on the fly. <laughs> right. So That's you, right. <laughs> you squat and pretend something's there. Exactly. Just little pencil sketches and, and, you're, and you're good. That's all you need. Um, but 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 seriously, I mean, we we can we can kind of even build virtual furniture, mm -hmm. um, use green uh, cloth or or boxes and yeah. and and overlay stuff on top of that and and really do some neat stuff. So right, um, we haven't been able to play around with it much because this version of Wirecast is not the professional version, so right. it doesn't have these virtual sets in there. But the uh, one that's supposedly on order that we're getting fairly soon. That's right. Prepare is yourself. For... Have those. So the next uh, next time we have some breaking news, it's going to go to the next level entirely. I yep. can say that much. Yep. Um, but it's wild stuff. So the virtual sets, instead of just having uh, some sort of background behind you, mm -hmm. you can actually create virtual desks in exactly. front of you and, you know, any sort of uh, environment that you want and you can be between these layers. That's right, yeah. I mean, essentially all you need is a green wall mm -hmm. um, between you and the camera and, and then you've got that kind of um, that extra layer that you can that you can key onto. Yeah, um, I was thinking about it the other day. My uh, wife was watching Entertainment Tonight, mm -hmm. and it's it looks very much so like it's almost all virtual. You know, there's yeah, exactly. you know the, these backgrounds and the desk and everything are all so glossy and shiny mm -hmm. and you know out of this world, I guess. Well, and I was watching the the one of the Twit shows, one of the This Week in Tech shows, and I think it was probably Windows, Windows, or uh, not Windows. <laughs> Why would I be watching Windows Weekly with any regularity? Sorry, Mac Break if Weekly. I, you know, no um, and what they do is they actually have some of the set is dressed with, with some carpentry and that sort of thing, and they mm -hmm. have a big kind of logo, hanging logo that's there, mm -hmm. but behind it is, is a green screen. And all they do is to kind of change the mood for each show, um, like Windows Weekly or This Week in Google or whatever, they just kind of throw up a different color background yeah. to to kind of match the mood or or match the color scheme for a given show. Yeah. Um, so it's you know it's stuff like that with the green screen could be easily you know implemented. So yeah, and, I and then I, I imagine us kind of we we could hang 
things from the ceiling. We'll have a grid, you know, for lighting and that sort of thing, but we could hang mm -hmm. things from the ceiling that, that came down. Maybe we would want to do a, a reenactment of, like, the scene in Spinal Tap where the... Where the where Stonehenge comes down, <laughs> um, so we, all kinds of possibilities. Right. Uh, Definitely. <laughs> so anyway, well, that's that's kind of uh, we're looking forward to this building, and um, hopefully all goes well. Hopefully we'll all be around to to enjoy it in 2014 or, or whenever. Does that mean? I don't know. I don't. Oh, I don't. I, I'm, I mean. Lots of things happen, but uh, no, it's. I think all of us have have something to live for. Are you trying to say my probation's not going well? <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. I don't even know if I was referring to you, Tim. So. Okay. Uh, but no, it, we're. I think all of us are excited about it. It's something to to look forward to as we go forward, um, and uh, we'll be excited to kind of have our input and and yeah. build a. Uh, a building that has a lot of neat capabilities in it. And I think now that, that they finally have the funding for it, we're going to have a lot more say into like the kind of technology that they're using. Because the last time they really drew out any specs for any of this stuff was like three years ago. And yeah. a lot's changed since exactly. then. You know, yeah. Some stuff hasn't. But for the most part, in terms of technology, the kind of projectors you're going to use or whether you're going to go with LCD panels and things like that has all changed. So we're really going to be able to design a space that's flexible and can suit our needs. And yeah. I'm really excited about that. And that, that. reminds me, they're, you know, they're talking about this theater being capable of doing 3D. Um, right. And uh, there's lots of other spaces that'll... Um, have some neat technology with AV control room, mm -hmm. um, but we, you know, we'll plan on uh, on doing a similar upgrade for the studio in terms of, you know, we're using a laptop with with Wirecast. Right. Um, I can see us using something like a like a TriCaster. Right. Uh, you know, from New Tech, where we where we can get some real HD stuff and um, have eight cameras if we need to. So um, we'll see what the possibilities Dream are. Dream big. We'll see what see what's even available in a couple of years because it probably will all change. Um, yet again, by the time we're actually ready to order equipment, yeah. So, and that kind of brings it all back around. It's the changes from the data fax modem to the cycloramas. You are and becoming the, 3D the projectors. king of segways. I'm, <laughs> I'm really impressed with your with your skills. So. I'm working on it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. All right, take Have care. Have a good weekend. Later. Bye.